Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks, trim with black and gold. Weighed in at 17 stone, 7 pounds, with a perfect professional record. 10 contests, 10 wins, all inside the scheduled distance. He is the two-time ABA champion and an Olympic gold medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a member of the British Empire from Watford, England, it's AJ Anthony Joshua. In the sensation, Jason Gavin. In the heavyweight division, Timekeeper Stuart Lithgow, referee Victor. Okay, gents, you've had your instructions in the rest room. Remember, yeah, commands at all time, defend yourselves at all time. God bless, touch them. Let's do it. Gavin Jason. couldn't look at Anthony Joshua at the way in yesterday afternoon. He couldn't do it there either. What a way to bring up your heart around the ring as well. And maybe that's why the bookies are saying there's a very good chance this because, because we saw Gavin on the uh, Brook Porter undercard. Last summer he went four rounds, very one-sided rounds it has to be said, before he retired on his gown in the build-up to this one. He rates Joshua almost as much as everybody else does. He says of all the people he sparred, top three, and one of the two ahead of him is Vladimir Klitschko. See, I think it's a big problem. You know, I think he realizes what he's here for. So at least hopefully he'll nice. give it a go. Not just try to survive for a round or two. Hopefully he'll give but uh, really, we cannot give him any chance here whatsoever. Well, he's just trying to survive, Twisting, spinning, turning, trying to keep that head protected and trying to keep distance. I mean, he does have the experience, you know, so he should be able to get close once or twice and let some of these swings go there. You know, just a slight frustration in the early stages of the round here. Oh, oh, solid straight left hand yeah. just from there. By a Joshua standard, that punch had no boots. Yeah, that's a bit ominous. I mean, the first clean punch. He's got him bang on to He's taking his time. Here comes the right hands now. He'll start getting a little bit Just closer. Turned his head and tried to do it again. And then forced to hold as well. That was a good right hand from Joshua. Didn't land it. But how long can he keep it up for? Just slipping out of trouble again there. And you just know it's going to go off. You don't know when. More to the point, everybody in this arena knows it's going to go off as well. And just to survive the opening session here, because Joshua is zeroing in on it more as well. Yeah, Joshua's using the uppercut, which is wise when they're with Gavin all over the place, just trying to duck, dive, and survive. Turns out round two. Anthony Joshua has four first-round stoppages to his name. He has five second-round stoppages. Is this going to be number six? The only man to go into the third round with him is the German, Konstantin Eirich. Again, Gavin, his reflexes getting down, up. Round two. Anthony Joshua has four first round stoppages to his name. He has five six. Six. The only man to go into the third round with him is the German, Konstantin. Again, Gavin, his reflexes getting him out of trouble from that right hand. So it's the left that comes down to play yet again. And he's having a lot of success with the left here, Joshua. Good tall, heavy wheeler, Joshua. You want a good jab as you move up in levels, jab. And uh, Joshua certainly possesses that and he's beginning to use it now. And Larry started talking to Joshua about the jab. Anthony did a lot of listening. Body work with the left hand. Then another and shot. that was a good shot that, that gave him, to give him his due. He's taken his... And then he gets out of trouble again. Looking for the body again. Doesn't appear to be troubling Joshua with anything. Misses time. This is the miss time. One, two, three. Gavin is complaining. Six, well, he was hit round the back seven, of the head. He wasn't. It was eight, a straight. Eight. But how long can he do that for? I mean, it's also. And there's the big right hand. 
Gavin in big trouble. The left puts yeah. him down for the second. And he's a Six. brave, proud man, Seven. Jason Gavin. He will try Eight. and beat this count if he can. Let this go on. Gavin saying yes, showing defiance. But the end is coming. They are on their Ting. feet for the last act. Surely one more solid shot will do it. Joshua zeroing in. That smile that's got an edge of malice. Well, I think the crowd won to Gavin there because he had an excuse to get himself out of it. To hear the bell. That in itself would be a big achievement. And they may not. Right on the bell there. Not going quietly, is it, Anthony Joshua? It's all been the big right hand bombs up till now. He comes out with that smile again, Joshua, into round three for only the second time. What I also like about Joshua, he's always mindful of his own defence. Even when he's completely in top, you know, he keeps his shape, he keeps his hands up, gets his punches out, brings them back. And here we come now. Gavin in trouble, down again, yeah. I think the right hand, and he Two. landed a punch when he was Three. on the floor there, and he Four. needs a telling off for that. He's Five. going to have to be careful. Anthony Joshua, it's all been the big right hand bombs up till now. He comes out with that smile again. What I also like about Joshua, he's always mindful of his own so defense, his punches out, brings them back. And here we come now. Gavin in trouble, down again, yeah. I think the right hand, and he Two. landed a punch when he was Three. on the floor there. And he needs Whoa. a telling off for that. In the previous hey. round, he landed a left hook after the bell sounded. He's going to have to be very careful. Stan Lecture. That was a clear right hand landed when Gavin was on his knees. Probably envisaged doing this job a lot more cleanly than he's been able to do. And down he goes oh. again, left hand again. Two. And Victor Lachlan's got to put an end to this. This is, this is getting ugly here, and it's way it's done. Anthony Joshua does it again. This time he was left hand happy. And it's Anthony Gavin. And he's done it faster than Deontay Wilder managed. Impressive last. performance at times. Gavin made it a bit awkward, you know, a bit frustrating. Oh, time. And I'm impressed by the fact that it was short punches that got short the jolting punch. left hands and shoddy to the head. And there was no point. Probably Gavin the last knocked down, but what was the point? I think he'd more than earned his money. He warned to him the fact that he was getting himself off the floor and getting back into the fray. But another excellent performance. Gavin showing tremendous resistance. Another one of those right hands getting through. A few of them landed, but put him on the floor. Well, he was ready to go from that right, wasn't he? A couple of times, I mean, Gavin was down, was well on the floor when that punch landed, you know. He's going to really have to his last fight, I think, Jim, that, and, and, you know, he was asked about it afterwards, and he more or less just swatted it away with, with a shrug. 21 but. seconds of the third round. Your winner on a count-out. He's still undefeated from Watford, England. AJ Anthony Joshua! Anthony, how did it feel to be back under the lights in front of this crowd? Brilliant. Unfortunately, I had a bit of ring rust, so I couldn't display everything I've been doing in the gym. But once we get that momentum going, I'll be able to display some more sharp shooting. But what got me through as well, I've been Scotland, Manchester, Liverpool, London. I have to say Newcastle's right up there with the crowd. Thanks for all the support tonight as well. Were there weaknesses from your sparring session that you knew you could exploit? As I said, obviously, there's a lot of expectations. And Jason Gavin is a very awkward opponent, slippy customer. He's there to make me look bad, and I think he did a good job of that. At the end of the day, I've got a job to do, and that's get a win. Hopefully, if I can start pushing to British titles, European, step by step, these fights won't really mean nothing when I'm experienced and I'm a champion. In commentary, they said... Uh...